Patrick, there have been amazing scenes in Italy, particularly the island of Lampedusa, where in one day last week, nearly 7,000 immigrants in 120 boats, an entire flotilla, a real invasion, sailed from Tunisia, Africa, to Lampedusa, bringing more, which meant there were more illegal immigrants than Italians on that island. But for Britain, of course, what happens in Italy is a problem for you guys as well, isn't it? Absolutely. So Italy is the gateway into Europe for a lot of people coming from Africa. But there's no question about it. Britain is the final destination. And what we see now, because of the geography of the island of Lampedusa, which is, is, is a very nice rock in the middle of the sea, OK, with about 6,000 Italians living on it and now about 11,500 African young men who've arrived in the last few days. So the European Union and Italy now has a very, very clear choice to make. You can either leave these men on this rock in a detention centre and then deport them back to Africa, or you can fly them from that rock into mainland Europe deliberately, allow them to roam across the continent, live wherever they want, and then possibly end up in Britain. And a lot of people are scratching their heads and going, why on earth would you do the latter? Because if you do that, that is an absolute open invitation for anyone in Africa to want to come to Europe, which, of course... They probably would because they think it's a land of milk and honey. So we are really seriously hoping that the Italians in the European Union wake up to this and they don't decide to, frankly, change Europe forever. Yeah, well, I don't know about... The... I think, actually, well, I say that, but a lot of countries do seem to be uh, thinking more and more along those ways. I mean, the Scandinavian countries, Italy, uh, in Germany, you've got a far-right... Uh, anti-immigrant uh, party that's now very dominant in the polls. So maybe that'll happen. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, Patrick, I don't know about you. I'm no fan of uh, comedian Russell Brand. I think he's a bit of a smartass, mm. may I say that. He's is a hugely uh, popular online show. Here's a taste of his shtick. Ding, ding! Seconds out. The Capitol Police, Hunter Biden's business dealings, UFOs. What's that in the sky? Nothing. Is God real? Now, I'm no fan, uh, Patrick, but I am disturbed now by how he's been punished without any trial, without any charges even, after mm. four women he said, uh, said that he years ago sexually abused them, groomed one girl who was uh, just 16 at the time. And if true, that's terrible. Now, he denies all this, but YouTube has now cut off the ad revenue for his clips. The BBC is removing programs he made for them, saying they are no longer acceptable. It's being treated like uh, someone that no one can touch. Is this fair? It's a very, very tricky one, right? I'm a bit like you, I was never a massive fan of Russell Brand, his stand-up, his performances on a variety of different chat shows or his YouTube work, really. There's no doubt with Russell Brand that he's a completely different person than the drug addict and sex addict that he's spoken very openly about being you know, 10, 15 odd years ago. A very promiscuous chap who I think undoubtedly over the course of many years of really being right at it has probably behaved in a suboptimal way towards numerous people. That said, we are now looking at a man who's been clean and sober for the best part of, I think, 10 or 15 years. He's got a family man, he's got a pregnant, uh, a pregnant wife, etc., and lives quite a clean living uh, lifestyle who is now being accused by anonymous people of things that he may or may not have done around 20-odd years ago. In fact, in one case, it is 20 years ago. The police are yet to press any charges. Uh, Channel 4 and The Times, which is the newspaper that did this, uh, openly called for people to come forward. So did the Met Police. So these people didn't volunteer their stories initially. Uh, and now there's a mass cancellation taking place of it. If I was Russell Brand, I would feel incredibly hard done by. That said... It's important not to come out swinging for the guy too soon because you never know what's coming down the track. No, no, no I got that. But uh, innocent under proven guilty, I, I think, still has to apply. And I'd rather these things be tried in the court, not in the newspapers. Patrick Chris, it's always great to talk to you. Thanks for your time.